the Sick Twisted Weather Freaks. Welcome to another fun-filled, action-packed, and intellectually stimulating and special edition of This Week in Weather. I'm your host, meteorologist D.T. from Weather Risk, your commander of chaos, your colonel of confusion, your cata- captain of catastrophe. Let's talk about this special weather event for this Sunday, December 9th. Sorry about the delay. I had a technical issue. I think I've solved it, so we'll see if this works out or not. Um, We'll talk about the front coming in. The, the front is definitely coming in much slower, which means that the cold air has a chance to catch up to the front and to get a lot more snow behind the front. The short range models show a change in the upper air pattern. That's kind of important, you know, so be prepared. This shit's going to happen um, in a lot of places. It's going to get kind of interesting here Sunday night, Monday morning in the uh, interior portions of the mid-Atlantic, mostly in and along Interstate 81. We'll get to that in a minute. We have to remember always to adjust the models for reality because of the wet ground and temperatures still getting above freezing or being above freezing early Monday morning east of the Blue Ridge. And then also the possibility of thunder snow for the Shenandoah Valley. We'll get to that maybe. There's the website as always. Uh, And of course, you can always go to the shop area and pick up look at the different products we have to offer, including a lot of snow removal stuff. Uh, Here's the uh, two... uh, uh, social media pages for my snowstorms and the one on threads and then this is the uh, grain weather one as well here's the latest radar at seven o'clock this evening you can see the reds here showing uh these were uh, tornadoes on the ground actual i mark you can follow the stuff on twitter that pretty potent and you can see a little more uh, intense areas right in here there's a pretty big tornadoes on the ground in south central tennessee a little while ago now the european model from uh, december 6 you can see it actually had the rain changing to snow here West Virginia, Western Maryland, or a little bit in the Shenandoah Valley, then up into Western Pennsylvania, New York, and then into mostly New York State, and Northeast Pennsylvania, and but not much in uh, Boston and New England. This is a classic uh, I-81 snowstorm, and um, you can see that's what this is right here. Now, in case you don't know where Interstate 81 is, you should if you live in the Mid-Atlantic or the Northeast, um, and it extends, as you can see, from Northeast Tennessee right through southwest Virginia up the valley into central Maryland through Gettysburg Harrisburg up in northeast Pennsylvania central New York so and 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 I the thing about in I-81 snowstorms in particular is that um, it's the one type of snowstorm that screws New England because if the low is going up this direction what happens is New England which of course sticks out on the coast as you can see here gets no snow you get mild air coming up so not to, obviously it's not great for central Virginia, eastern Virginia, North Carolina, but it also I-81 snowstorms aren't great for D.C. or Philly or Baltimore or New York and then eastern New England. As you can see, this is again from December 6th. The European model actually had the right idea right along the Shenandoah Valley, eastern portions of West Virginia, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, I-81 snow. Now this is the upper air map. So the, uh, let me call it my market here. You can see it right here. We have two pieces of energy. This is the northern short wave, and this is the southern short wave. And the orange, the brown stuff, is vorticity, uh, it's spinning most of the atmosphere. So this is negatively neutrally tilted. This piece here and this piece here, they're essentially north to south. Now, this is valid Sunday at noon. By Monday, by, excuse me, by uh, Monday morning, 1 a.m., look at the negative tilt on this thing. See how it's going negatively tilted northwest to southeast. Whenever you see that on an East Coast storm or potential storm, the thing's about to go boom, and uh, that's what it does. So what happens is the jet stream here, this causes dive fluence aloft. See this? The jet stream is spreading out in different directions, and that causes increased circulation at the surface with low pressure area. And then it develops a severe negative tilt by Monday morning, which is when the snow breaks out east of the Blue Ridge Mountains into portions of central Maryland and Virginia, supposedly. Okay. Uh, this here is the, the rain, and I, I just want to show you briefly here. Um, this is the HRR model. The thick black line here's the NAM. This is the 18Z run, both 18Z runs. That's the rain line right here. So the NAM at a noon Sunday has the rain just getting into New York City, Western Connecticut, uh, starting in DC, Baltimore, but Southeast Virginia, east of Richmond, down to the Hampton Roads, east of North Carolina. It's still dry. It probably stays dry until afternoon. Uh, the HRR model, same sort of thing. Now it's got the rain is not in New York City at that point or Philly, but Eastern Virginia and North Carolina it's still the same thing. Rainfall amounts look very impressive. Here's the NAM. Look at this, a 12Z NAM. Look at the amount of rain here. That brown color on the mountains, five six inches of rain. Widespread 
two to five inch range. Now, I don't know why it has this gap here. I don't know what that's about. I think that's BS. So I'm just ignoring it. This is the 18 ZNAM. Look at that. Same thing. Very impressive rainfall. <clears throat> no doubt about it. Uh, this here is the RGEM. And I just have, this is North Carolina, Virginia here in the bottom right. And this is uh, the Mid-Atlantic up here. I just wanted to shoot you could North Carolina, get a lot of rain. Our friends in eastern Tennessee, a lot of rain here. They need it. And then you can see the big rains in uh, Virginia. And look at the heavy, heavy rain here. Um, the, the, right in this area. Uh, four or five inch rains from R Richmond all the way up into the Delmarva. And then also New York City, southwest Connecticut. It's kind of impressive there, I think. All right. Now, uh, this is the NAM from 18Z. So uh, we call it up here. This is um, this is 4Z, which is 11 p.m. Monday. The rain snow line is right on the Virginia West Virginia border. Notice Central Pennsylvania is still just getting very light snow or snow ricks with rain. Now by uh, 2 a.m. on Monday, look at this snow explode in the valley. Wow, this thing just explodes in the valley. Now what's interesting is that the model right over here. This is the Blue Ridge. See this? That's the Blue Ridge right there. The snow doesn't cross it. It's right there. Isn't that amazing how the model, the high resolution models can pick up the Blue Ridge impact? So this is all snow, the valley from Martinsburg, Winchester, all the way down to Charleston, Romney in West Virginia, uh, uh, Harrisonburg, Staunton, uh, uh, Broadway, Lexington, Roanoke, uh, Hillsville, all the way down west of North Carolina, maybe even Hickory, getting pounded with snow at this point. Impressive. Now, the thing is, of course, as it advances eastward, it's going to be the temperatures. But we'll get to that in just a little bit. Now, this here is, uh, this is a Monday morning. I got these, uh, let me change this here a little bit. Uh, shrink, shrink this down. So this one on the upper left, this is uh, 5 a.m. Monday morning. Now, the model, whether you believe it or not, it's a different matter. The model has the heavy snow breaking east of the Blue Ridge. And you can see getting towards Rich, this is DC, Baltimore, right on the edge of Richmond, the rich, west side of Richmond, you can see here. It's got heavy snow into Greensboro, North Carolina. Can you believe that? Mm, maybe. And then uh, Richmond, excuse me, uh, it's east of Roanoke. It's just about ended at Roanoke, but Lexington's still getting it. Smith Mountain Lake, Charlottesville's getting it. Um, uh, Farmville, South Hill, all those areas. Culpeper, Warrington, Front Royal, Harrisonburg is still snowing. Uh, Manassas, um, Leesburg, Frederick, Hagerstown, Gettysburg, Harrisburg, really coming down here. And so look at the huge rains in eastern North Carolina and the, I mean, really coming down southeast Virginia. This is Monday morning, 5 a.m. All right. Now, let's take a look at Monday morning at 7 a.m. Again, the question is, can you believe this? The dam has been doing this now for run after run after run. They're really consistent. So I think it's right. And again, given the upper air dynamics, I think this makes sense. I'm not doubting it. The question is, is what, if anything, is going to stick? Okay, this is um, 7 a.m. on Monday. Look at this stuff coming down. Holy mackerel. <sighs> okay, Richmond getting pounded with snow. Yes, Richmond. Okay, okay, and all the Virginia Piedmont, that down to Greensboro. Look at that. Baltimore, D.C., everything. Now, Philly is still getting rain. <laughs> so is New York City. Um, so uh, there you go. It's very impressive. Really impressive stuff. Now, the questions. Let's look at the temperature. Here's the temperatures. This is sun this is Monday morning, 7 a.m. The problem is in the blue area, all these temperatures here, look, southwest Virginia is upper 20s, around 30. The valley is around 32 degrees. I can see that. It's snowing. It's accumulating there. East of the Blue Ridge, look at these temperatures. 34, 35, 36 degrees, D.C., Richmond, uh, uh, east of uh, Charlottesville, Fredericksburg, Lake Anna, you know. Greensboro, 34, 35 degrees. So into, into the, and up towards Philly. So if it's snowing in this area, it's not sticking or it's not accumulating. It might stick on the grassy surfaces, your car tops, your bushes, that sort of things, but that's all you're going to get. Okay. The other thing that's got me concerned here is the phonogenetic forcing, the purple stuff. Now, that's a fancy weather term. What does that mean? The vertical motion of the atmosphere is so intense with this system because it develops a negative tilt that it could produce low level convection and produce thunder snow in the Shenandoah Valley. That's what this, that's what these images are showing. Now, nobody else is calling for that and that's fine. I could be completely wrong here. I could be completely full of crap. 
but I think that is a possibility in the Shenandoah Valley. Now, further east, on Monday morning at uh, 2 a.m., it's actually east of the valley in northeast um, 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 Virginia into central Maryland. But at that point, you know, it's mostly rain and snow mix, but still a lot of, a lot of energy here. All right, this here's the HRR, which is showing the same thing. So this here is uh, 8 p.m. on Sunday. You can see the rain snow line right on the Virginia, West Virginia border, but snowing pretty heavy in southwest Virginia and southern portions of West Virginia and into western Maryland. And then it explodes again. This is 1 a.m. Monday. Look at this snow just explode across the valley. Woo! Coming down, coming down. And again, right along the Blue Ridge, it doesn't want to cross that. See that? It just picks it up so, so nicely. And this is the HRR now for uh, 4 a.m. Monday. Now the snow's getting into D.C. and it's getting close to Richmond. If you believe that, snowing like heck in Charlottesville and Farmville and Lynchburg and uh, uh, Manassas and Culpeper and Warrington and Leesburg and Winchester and Hagerstown and Frederick and Gettysburg and Chambersburg and Harrisburg. You can see it coming down here. Notice it's ended now in the southern portions of the valley. See that? Um, and then also western Pennsylvania, western Maryland is coming to just light stuff in West Virginia. And if we look at the temperatures, this is the high resolution mesoscale HRDPS. Say that three times fast HRDPS, HRDPS, HRDPS. Okay. Uh, you can see the blue area shows temperatures cold enough to support accumulating snow in the valley. You can clearly see that. This is at, uh, Monday morning at uh, 3 a.m. So, yeah, it's, you got a lot of 32 degrees here. That's, it's accumulating. Now, for some reason, it's got a band just to the, in and around Richmond. I guess where it's coming down mixed precipitation, around 34 degrees to the northwest of Richmond. I don't know what this is. I think it's Bravo Sierra. I'm, I'm just discounting it. And uh, this is the HRDPS, and you can see, and, and you can see why it goes crazy here. Um, so this, let me, I got the maps actually backwards here. Yes, let me change this so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so then one in the upper left here, this is uh, midnight, and you can see right along the Blue Ridge, look at that, does not cross it. See that? Amazing, just amazing. But it's really coming down in the valley from Roanoke all the way up into uh, Winchester and Western Maryland and Romney and Clarksburg and Elk, Elkins and places like that. And then the bottom right is where it's trying to get east of the Blue Ridge. And by that point, a lot of precipitation is gone, but it's trying to get close to um, um, D.C. and Baltimore. Now, the thing is, look, at here's the thing is the soundings. So this is from the NAM, all these soundings from the NAM, the 18Z NAM. This is Charlottesville, 4 a.m. Now, see the blue, dark blue area? That looks like heavy snow. But what is the surface temperature? 34 degrees. Is it accumulating there? Eh, probably not. Um, but uh, in the mountains and the hills right around Charlottesville, and there's quite a number of them, it could be sticking there. This here is Richmond, 6 a.m. Monday. We seem to be in the blue area here in Richmond. What's the temperature? 34 degrees. So it's looking at, at, what we're looking at maybe is two or three or four hours of snow, pretty good snow, at 34 or 33 degrees, where it only sticks on trees and car tops and bushes and that sort of stuff. Not a problem for the roads. Okay, Staunton, 4 a.m. Monday, 33 degrees. Okay, that's probably sticking at this point, probably accumulating and dropping another degree or so. And this is Winchester. Look at the sounding here. 35 degrees, but that's 1 a.m. Monday. It gets much colder. I didn't post a sounding for Winchester at 3 a.m. You're down to 33, 32 degrees. And then finally, this here is Whiteville. At 10 p.m. Sunday, it is 32 degrees Sunday night where it's accumulating in southwest Virginia. Now, remember, it ends in southwest Virginia much earlier. So there, to keep that in mind. All right, snowfall. Okay, this is the HRDPS. Notice that on this model, the high resolution, this is the mesoscale Canadian model. It's pretty darn good. See how the heaviest snow is right along the Blue Ridge? Now, that purple stuff, that's like, um, this is uh, way up there, you know, six, eight, nine inches of snow right in here. And again, the, the hills in, in the Shenandoah Valley and, and Western Virginia, you can see that. Now, this is all, I think, too high. Um, now, in the mountains, the hill ridges, it's possible you could get five or six inches here. But in the valley, I think this is too much. And I like the idea that the heavy snow essentially does not make it past the Blue Ridge. I think that's correct. Now, there is some areas of like, you know, wet snow and the grassy surfaces, you know, in, in, in the Northern Virginia Piedmont, Charlottesville, you know, Lynchburg, Farmville, that's possible. This is the HRR model. Now, it is much more aggressive with the snow 
Let me change the color here so you can see it a little bit better. Look at the snow it now breaks again. There's the Blue Ridge and got the snow to DC. Three inches in, 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 in the western side of Richmond, uh, no. Uh, two or three inches in, in DC, eh, I don't think so. Charlottesville, five inches, no. Uh, Lynchburg, Farmville, that's too, all. If this is the middle of winter, yeah, absolutely. This would be great, but it's too early in the ground. Again, the ground, a lot of water on the ground. A lot, you know, two inches of rain, three inches of rain, four inches of rain coming. A lot of water on the ground, and the grounds are not that cold. So I'm think, I think this is all too much east of the Blue Ridge. And this is the NAM doing the same sort of thing. Looks just like the HRR, doesn't it? So, you know, there you go. Now, remember, okay, if this turns out to be different and something changes, I'm not trying to BS you, okay? Data changes, we have to change our opinion. That's what we do in science, okay? So don't take it personally. Things happen, all right? This is meteorologist DT from Weather Risk. I'll see you on the Twitter page and over on the website.